Hi friends, it's Brooke. I'm back with a new project. Check out this journal spread. I want to start by getting some pattern down in the background. So I'm going to take one of my hand carved stamps and just randomly stamp this around just to give it some sort of pattern to get me going, a jumping off point. Sometimes a blank page can be intimidating, so I like to add in a pattern. I want to start getting some color down, so I'm going to take some acrylic paints. That was Master's Touch acrylic in a light coral color, and now I'm going to go in also with a yellow deep is the color, and I don't really have much of a goal here besides just getting some color down. I'm taking my catalyst tool and this one is the B06 in the size 15 millimeters. I did go ahead and dry those colors because when I add this light portrait pink from Liquitex in there, I don't want it to muddy too much with those colors that were already on the page. I want it to stand out just a little bit, but this is such a nice pink color, very soft. I'm thinking about getting some more pattern put in there, whether that be with collage or washi tape. I've decided I'm going to put in some collage bits here. Just taking my Yoohoo glue stick and randomly putting down some different collage fodder. Next for the collage pieces, this is a drywall tape actually, and it's self-adhesive on the back, which I love. Um, I can also take the back piece and use it later on, just using a glue stick to adhere it. But I love that circle um, cutouts. It gives such a fun look. I want some balance when it comes to my collage on the page. So I'm not repeating the same thing on the other side, but I'm bringing in similar elements. Next up, I'm taking my food ball pen and I like this pen. It's a nice bold point and it is permanent once dry, which is really great. If you're gonna be adding water later on, you do want a pen that is permanent. Otherwise it will smear all the way around. Now the key to getting this writing that is very loopy and close together is to write actual words. So I write actual words, but I put them closer together or maybe um, they're not spelled right or the grammar is not correct and that's all okay. Sometimes you can use this little section as a way to do some journaling, get out some of your feelings. Um, maybe they're just random words of, hey, how are you doing? But just getting that down on the paper and then you get this writing look, but it is a really fun appearance. I'm adding in some washi tape now. I always love a good black and white pattern. Next, I'm coming in with my Stabilo All and I'm just accentuating some of that stamp that I put in in the very beginning, bringing out some of that shape. I am dipping my pencil directly in the water and it activates it and gives it a really nice grungy look. I usually don't like my journal spreads to be too clean looking and so this is an easy surefire way to 
add some grunginess into your pages. So this is just a, a wet paintbrush and I am just bringing that color around. You can go back in on the spots that were wet and add some more Stabilo. I went ahead and sped up this drying process so we didn't have to sit through it. What I feel like the page is lacking now is it needs some texture. It needs something to kind of catch my eye and add some dimension onto this page. So I'm thinking about adding some fabric bits in there. And this is a hand painted piece of fabric that I just used acrylic paint and it's a tea towel. And so it's a really nice loose weave. So when you tear it, it gives you bunches of frayed edges. And I just love that look. The messier, the better. And that's a little piece of dyed towel as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get my needle threaded and I'm using a black embroidery DMC floss and it's pearl cotton. Doing a quilter's knot to get a secured end. And I'm thinking that there's not enough definition in this piece that that colored piece of fabric just kind of goes into the black and white and I want something to to separate them a little bit I'm gonna test out this green piece of fabric see if I like it on the page I'm not sure that I want to bring in a new color to the spread I'm actually gonna use a piece of paper and I've used this paper already in the spread so it's gonna bring some continuity in and it's a piece of craft paper that I have um, made marks on and it looks like that's when I just used maybe my finger to make repetitive marks on the page I'm going to stitch these layers together so that they hold together and the stitches add a really nice extra something to, to your journals, a unique touch that is just yours. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and maybe you've learned something new today, hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up to see more videos in the future. When you are stitching on paper, you want to be careful because it is more delicate than fabric will be. And if you're not too careful, maybe you pull too tight, you will end up tearing that paper. It is fixable. You can always put a piece of masking tape on the back and that will fix your tear. But it's good just to be careful from the beginning. I am tying off a knot here and going to cut off my excess. I want to leave some hanging out though. Just toying around with where I want that really placed. I'm gonna put a, a nice amount of glue down. I'm just using my glue stick again and really pressing that into the paper. It is heavier than um, a normal paper that you would adhere, so I do wanna make sure it sticks down there, but I'm okay with edges coming up and the frayed look. I like the messiness. This other side of the page feels left out, and so I wanna add some some texture and some dimension on this other side. I'm gonna go ahead and just make it as if it's a part of the collage. I did not intend to tear off that small of a piece, but we're going with it. Just adding it on top and it's just another extra little detail that I like. I'm not sure that any page is done if it doesn't have scribbles on it yet, so we gotta we gotta put a good amount on. Going in with my Uniball Signo white pen and just making some repetitive marks. This is my favorite white pen. It tends to work the best on dark colored paper and is the most consistent for me. I do love Posca pens as well. They're more, they're a paint marker. 
but they do come in in finer tips which is nice this is a white china marker and it doesn't show up incredibly well but i like the depth that it gives it we're just adding more and more layers and it creates some of the intrigue I'm obsessing to see what else I think the page needs. Thinking we need some black mark making here. So the, this is one of the Posca pens I was just talking about. And it goes over pretty much anything. And it drives, dries permanent, which I really like. Is there such a thing as too many dots? I'm not sure that there is. <laughs> and this is another Posca pen in white. All right, and there we have it. I hope that you guys loved watching me create this spread. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a good one.